let's talk about the 151 reprint let's don't freak out guys don't don't get into fomo the price did go up a little bit on sneaker dunk we're at 60 a box now oh, don't don't worry like if you guys want to get boxes now i'm going to tell you like the best strategy you guys can probably do but first let's talk about um japan if you guys aren't aware check this out right here this is highlighted the japanese yen on wednesday hit its weakest level since 1990 um they're in a recession they're not doing very good so a lot of these uh, Japanese resellers are going to want to be moving these boxes. So um, as more come into the into the market, like this is the start of the reprint. The rumor is this reprint is absolutely massive, and why wouldn't it be if you think about it? So just um, just keep that in mind. Like Pokemon Company doesn't really like scalping and all this stuff, so they're going to print a lot of boxes. So I think this is going to be a huge reprint um, on eBay. We got sales in the in the 80s and 90s still. Like, not everybody knows about this reprint that you can, or that you can go on Sneaker Dunk or get it through other sellers. So, um, let's talk about dollar cost averaging. If you guys aren't aware of what that is, it's kind of like a common stock, um, a stock technique. Um, so, if the price is you're buying consistently um, to get your average down. So, in the dips and the highs, you're not going to kind of get screwed. Um, so say you got uh, five boxes at 190. Then say you get another five at uh, at the current price. So let's just let's just do this first. So then you know you're at a 125 average. But say um, say you get another five and and the price of the boxes does drop to 45. Now you got your average down to 93 a box. So or, sorry 98. Um, and then you know, say, say it goes back up a little bit, and then you're in the you're in the seventies again, or something like that. You know, you're at you're at ninety one, so you're still lowering that that dollar cost average, and it it could just be a, a really smart technique if you guys are worried. Like, don't FOMO into like just buying a ton of boxes right now. Say you didn't um like um say you only had. So you got five, but you maybe got a better entry, like back when the price was up and you're sitting on five at like 150. And then say we'll do five at 60 again, like now, where the price currently is at. But then um, say it dips, say it does dip, at, at like another wave of boxes comes into the market. I mean, then you're at 75 a box. And then that's pretty good, considering considering you spent 750 up here. So um, you got... 15 boxes at the same price you got five at before so and um and then say you go big say you get another 10 and and say say it's another 10 at the 60 range um then you're down to 70 a box so um just keep in mind guys that like don't don't just be buying these out of fomo um if you want to pick some up pick some up there's nothing wrong with that just be smart don't spend your don't spend your entire budget right now because you just don't know. I, I still think there's a really good chance that these boxes end up going lower. I think um, they didn't spike too high in price. Like there was a lot of demand that came in, and the price went up a little bit. But I think that I think this is going to be a massive reprint. Pokemon Company doesn't like scalping. It's not really a good look for them. It's one of the most popular sets ever. So I think I think this is going to be a huge reprint, and I think we're still going to see lower prices. But if you guys want to be smart about it. Um, yeah, just just do some dollar cost averaging. It's a safe way to like kind of protect yourself. So, um, yeah, that that's all I have for this one, guys. I just wanted to to give you guys that info. I know a lot of you guys know, but if you didn't, just this is just for you guys um, who didn't know. And yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. And remember, it was never a phase. I'll catch you guys in the next one.